Okay. okay, thanks for your time uh, today. Uh, my name's Gene Baranetti. I'm the officer in charge of Fields for uh, Operations. Just after 2 p.m. on Sunday, the 15th of October, a fire broke out in the supermarket behind me here in Sterling. The supermarket was open at the time. However, everyone was safely evacuated and there were no reports of any injuries to any members of the public or to any emergency services. As a result of the initial investigation, two teenagers were charged with arson and those teenagers will face court later this year. The investigation is ongoing and police are seeking any further information from the local community that may assist police further with their investigation. We are aware there are a number of people present uh, at the time of the fire and these people may not yet have had the opportunity to talk to police due to the emergency that was unfolding on the night. We encourage the community to pro provide any further information they may have to police. Every little bit of information, no, ma no matter how big or small, may assist police uh, with the investigation or may assist with a current line of inquiry. Detectives from Mount Barker CIB will be in Stirling between 9am and 4pm this weekend. The public can speak to the officers outside the scene of the fire behind me, which is Woolworths at Stirling. Police will be in the car park off Mount Barker Road, and as mentioned, members of the public can speak to them in person. Or alternatively, if people do wish to remain anonymous, or you are unable to attend over the weekend, you are encouraged to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 or online at crimestoppersa.com.au. I'm now happy to take your questions. Have you been able to a specific cause of the fire? Uh, no, we haven't at this time. Um, I can't obviously comment too much because that was part of the investigation. Uh, however, what I can say is uh, the fire was deep suspicious. Um, our fire cause investigators uh, did attend on the night, and they usually only do so if the fire is suspicious. What have you been able to see on CCTV footage? I uh, can't comment too much on CCTV because that is um, um, an avenue that investigation, investigators are currently um, still investigating. Um, they have been talking to local businesses around the area. Um, as you can see, looking around Sterling, there are a lot of businesses uh, nearby. Uh, so there has been some CCTV footage, um, but we are we are always looking um, uh, for more footage if we can uh, cover that. Is there particular information you're looking to get from these witnesses? You've obviously got CCTV spoken to a number of people. What's the reason for this extra extra push? Yeah. So the main reason uh, for this extra push is um, you can imagine uh, on the night the, the scene was um, quite chaotic. Um, a pretty critical emergency was unfolding. We are aware that there were a lot of people inside the supermarket when the fire broke out. Um, obviously their, their biggest priority um, being inside the supermarket and uh, the biggest priority of emergency services uh, was to evacuate them safely from the scene. Um, that obviously resulted in some people leaving the scene uh, without having the opportunity to talk to police or other emergency services. Uh, so we are definitely aware that there are more people out there who haven't had the opportunity to talk to police yet. Uh, so this presents an opportunity for them to do so. Do you have a rough idea of how many more people could be involved? Uh, that is uh, also part of the investigation. Um, two juvenile males have been arrested to this point. Um, at this point, um, that's something that we are definitely still looking at. Um, and if more suspects do come to light, um, they will, we, we will certainly look to prosecute uh, if there's enough evidence. Yeah, I guess further back, the police believe there are more people involved in the situation. Uh, that's something that uh, we're not sure of at this time. Um, it's just part of the ongoing investigation. Is this fire linked to any others in the area? Uh, we are, it's, it's not linked to any other fires in the area, um, however police are concerned of a growing trend uh, here in the hills and uh, elsewhere throughout uh, the state where uh, beers are potentially using aerosol cans to light fires. 
Uh, there was a recent incident uh, here in the hills involving a separate juvenile. Um, uh, a similar uh, similar trend uh, was used, however, that was not linked to this fight. Was that the one at Apex Park back in Sterling? Yeah? Yes, it was. So is that is that something you're seeing that um, you are doing it? Um, is it something that's happening online, or why do you think? Uh, we're not actually sure where uh, the trend has emerged from, uh, whether it be online or, or elsewhere, we're not sure. Um, however, we definitely do have concerns about a growing trend around use, uh, using aerosol cans to light fires, uh, specifically coming into the uh, fire danger season and the warmer months, and uh, more specifically for the Hills area, they give it the high, uh, high fire danger. Are there other um, fires where aerosol cans have been used in this area and miners apart from these two? Uh, not that I'm aware of. What type of information are you hoping to, to get from these witnesses if they're, if they're watching this? You know, what should they be thinking about if they've got useful information? Well, it could be, like, like I said before, it could be any information, um, whether it be big or small, in their mind that um, even if uh, members of the public may deem the information as uh, minor in nature, that may be an additional piece of information to a current line of inquiry. Uh, so even though an, a piece of information you have uh, may seem uh, small to you, it may form part of the bigger picture. Uh, there are a lot of people in the supermarket at the time, um, so there, there are definitely potential um, witnesses uh, who haven't spoken to police yet. You've had detectives stationed here for, for some time. Has that been successful in, in bringing people forward? Yeah, detectives have already spoken to numerous witnesses. Um, obviously, Stirling's quite a busy place uh, for a country town. Um, we have certainly already spoken to numerous witnesses uh, who have been very helpful. Um, the current lines of inquiry thus far um, are quite good. However, uh, to allow pe uh, uh, police to uh, present a transparent uh, brief before the court, um, we are always looking for every piece of information uh, that we can obtain. Can you confirm for us the age of the juveniles and where they're from? Um, I can't confirm the age or where they're from, uh, but I can say um, that they are uh, both juveniles and they're both males. The impact of, of using an aerosol can and a lighter, can we just hone, hone in on, on why, what could happen? Um, how impactful was this fire? And, and obviously no one was hurt with that here. Absolutely. Um, Probably one critical thing uh, to get across is uh, the impact of this fire is greater than um, just to that of Woolworths. Uh, there are a lot of surrounding businesses that were affected um, by this fire. Um, a lot of people were displaced from their employment. Uh, businesses have had to close. Um, so a lot of the times we talk about um, just the dollar uh, value of damage to the actual victim, but um, there, there's definitely a ripple effect around this. Um, and a lot more businesses and people uh, were affected than just the supermarket itself. And it's lucky there's no injuries. Absolutely lucky there's no injuries given the size of the fire. Can you confirm the amount of damage caused? Um, no, we, we can't comment on that at this time. That's a matter for the insurance companies. Um, obviously it was significant, um, but an, an actual um, dollar value is not yet known. You say there are a lot of witnesses. How confident are you that people will come um, we're, we're actually not sure if people will come forward. We certainly encourage people to come forward, uh, whether they talk to people in, talk to police in person, um, or they do that uh, via Crime Stoppers, um, or they contact police and just leave their number, and we're happy to um, call people back. Uh, we certainly hope uh, to um, have the opportunity to talk to some people. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.